What is going on, everyone? Badger here. I'm sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. We talked about this before. It The end is nigh, uh, apparently, for uh, X Defiant. I mean, the end is nigh for almost every game on Ubisoft. So a game that was already failing before the continued failures doesn't bode well for anyone. Uh, so here we go. If it doesn't get its act together by season four, and by that I mean significantly increase its player base, it looks like dims the bricks for uh x defiant and it's going to be taken down so of course this is hey i have a source you have a source we all have sources but you know whatever so uh from uh x here you can see x defiant is already dead ubisoft research team is actively asking their tester to have another in-house test session and give slash repeat their feedback Multiple sources told me that it's possible that the game will end its support after season four if they can't get enough players. They were already talking about ending support. Uh, you said with all the other games coming out with the controversy surrounding Ubisoft right now that Tencent and the Goulamont brothers might be intentionally ruining everything, ruining, I say, uh, so that they can buy the company on the cheap cheap uh, and then return it to profitability by doing all the things we're asking them to do. Uh, I mean, because look, how many times, right, can they make the same dumbass de uh, decision with all the evidence to the contrary unless they're doing it on purpose, which is what the prevailing theory. So rumor, of course, here, not out of left field. Ubisoft CEO Yves Goulemont revealed that the company's most recent trading update, that the sales for X Defiant were below expectations, leading to the company significantly reducing its net bookings for the second quarter. It's not pulling its weight. And then on top of the failures of Star Wars Outlaws, which straight up led to the delay for Assassin's Creed Shadows, we ain't got no time or money for uh, Miss Defiant here. Uh, Guma, of course, saying it mostly reflects the softer than expected sales for Star Wars Outlaws. We also had behind expectations for X Defiant, which we will give you a bit more detail at the end of October. Uh, information completely different than how Ubisoft and Goulamont were touting the game during the first sales report when they were talking about how great it was and the, notably saw the launch of X Defiant that is off to an encouraging start as we continue to grow the audience. And if you've never actually played X Defiant, it sounds on paper like it would be great. You have teams from Far Cry and The Division and Splinter Cell should have had more from Assassin's Creed, but I digress. Uh, so you have established teams from established Ubisoft uh, franchises, Watch, uh, Watch Dogs, uh, but the implementation just it was a fail. The, the implementation was a fail. Uh, and we saw one of the biggest uh, failures of that also is people weren't spending money on it. They weren't spending money on the DLC and they weren't spending money on the skins for the characters or the weapons or anything uh, because they were lackluster AF. Uh, reports also saying that the game that topped viewership charts acquired more than 10 million players within its first two weeks which is very impressive uh with players praising the thrilling fast-paced gameplay in the map variety game outperformed expectations thanks to acquisition and strong average revenue per session day uh, and then tom over at insider gaming uh claimed that at the time of the launch it had over a million unique players in the first two and a half hours and over eight million in its first week but that all is for not if you cannot sustain it because uh, at the end of August, you can see Henderson reporting that things weren't looking good for it, continuously declining player numbers and a lack of player spending and specifically that lack of player spending. I think it'd be fine with the player base if they were all spending money, if they had more whales, uh, basically. I mean, look at a game that I still play, DC Universe Online. It's like 13 plus years old and it has to have lower player numbers than anything x defiant is going on but how is it still around they make money they have the whales that will spend money for all the new stuff so it it's kept it alive uh something this game has failed to do as i said ubisoft would probably be happy with that number of twenty thousand concurrently if it had had uh the money to back it up uh, he elaborated, we know there are things we need to improve, like net code and hit reg and adding more content to progression, but the game is doing well. We just want it to do better, and we do that by addressing the concerns of our community, which has always been the plan. Ubisoft is very much behind us and has allocated more. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, to that point, and they revealed the year one roadmap, which ends with season four. And that is, by the way, what we're hearing. Like I said, if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't end now, or, or rather if... Uh, if it does not improve immediately, then that's it. There will be no season five. 
we will be done. Um, we're claiming the game as well. You can see by the Xbox achievements that 2.4 million random samples of Xbox. Account- yeah, it's not looking good. He noted the X Defiant Xbox player count has dropped an incredible 94%, and the shooter now sits in 81st place in the latest chart. And that was back in the middle of September. So the next time we probably do a story about X Defiant, it will be me saying that it is being shut down. Sorry, I hate to see it, but uh, we're going to see this not just in uh, streaming and movies, but you will see a contraction uh, in video games as well, online, mobile, all that. Uh, let me know what you think about all this. Be sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And, uh, well, bye. <laughs>